You mean <laughs> Patty? The proofreader. Yeah, she's the horniest woman I've ever met. Doing it right there at her desk. <laughs> No, she was not. Lenore, she was concentrating. Mm. Yeah, concentrating on getting fucked. Mm. I went to SeaWorld um, in Florida last month by myself. It was a lot of fun. I had a free weekend, you know, so I treated myself. I flew JetBlue. That's, uh... Sounds nice. No, it doesn't. It sounds pathetic and lame, but that's, you know, that's what I like. I like zoos and SeaWorld. I'm really into animals. I love animal stories. You know, and, um, you ever watch those old um, Wild Kingdom videos on YouTube? I love them. <laughs> They're so. You know, because they're so unintentionally hilarious. Plus, the animals are so great. You know what else I love? This. What? I love that normally that I come home from dates and I'm, you know, I feel so, I just, I'm so uptight and I feel like I just, I said the wrong thing or I, I, that I look like an idiot. But, you know, now I'm totally relaxed. Because even if I sound like a bird brain, you're going to lie and you're going to say it's fine. Right? <laughs> Aren't you going to lie and you're going to say it's fine? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. Oh, I'm having a good time. Good. Let's fuck. Wow. That's something else I never say. God, that sounds so great. <laughs> Shit, you could say it again if you want to. Okay. Let's fuck. 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 <laughs> you want it? <laughs> Me, Tanya. <laughs> Why are you calling me? I wanted to follow up about your um, appointment with the uh, happiness consultant. I'm working on the holopod deal uh, right now. Yeah, I know. I didn't want to bother you, but how was it? I don't want to talk about it. Why not? Just let it die, okay, Tanya? understand if by your own assertion the sex was great then shouldn't you be happy all right have you ever done coke tanya cocaine uh no i i tried peyote a couple times well having sex with that guy is like doing coke because it's expensive but you really want it so you buy it and then you get this huge awesome rush that's a good thing, right? A huge, awesome rush. But then you come down from your high, and you're broke, and you feel even lonelier and more pathetic than you did before, and you want to kill yourself. So I guess you won't be interested in our bi-monthly package. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Patty, look, what, what, wait, seriously, what, what would make you interested in being a repeat customer? I don't know. I don't know, maybe if he was like crack. Crack? Yeah. Cheap, dirty, same high, half the price. Okay. What? Oh. You're talking shit about me? No, Patty, absolutely not. This is my workplace. Mm -hmm. All right, you're telling people I did coke and heroin? I never said a word Just about heroin. Up. Listen up. Mm -hmm. Just because you talked me into paying for sex with some guy with a big dick does not give you the right to talk about it. Don't you ever talk about me or to me again or I will kick your ass sideways. You understand? Yes. You understand? Uh-huh. Um, like I said, I need to ask you some stuff. And um, it's, I mean, it's kind of weird. 
I just have this feeling that uh, something happened to Tara when you two went to school. Are you like, are you, are you divorcing her? Or something, you're trying to get dirt? Is, it, is this a custody thing? No, 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 nothing like that. Not a custody thing. Um, I've, it's a long story and it's complicated, but I'm, I'm just doing this because I love her. Tara and I had a falling out during our second year of school. Anyway, I finally, I get a boyfriend. He's my first one, and his name is Trip, and he's, He's very, he's very outdoorsy. He's really into windsurfing. He's very weathered and, you know, kind of melanoma sexy. Right, okay, okay. Right, so one morning, uh, Tara comes back to the room and she's all messed up. Messed up how? She looked like she had been knocked around. And I asked her what happened and she said that she didn't know. I didn't also, I didn't, I didn't ask her, only really ask her, because that kind of, that kind of shit happened to St. Anne's all the time. It was the late 80s. There's, you know, mosh pits and everything. Yeah, but the, the night that, she was attacked. So then I find out from some girls around school that she had slept with Trip that night. Your Trip? Yeah. And I was pissed. And then I confronted him, and he denied it. Um, and Tara and I never spoke again. And I didn't really know what had happened, but I've thought about it over the years, and I just, I think it's fishy. Yeah, it's very fishy. I think he lied, and I think he did do something to her. <sighs> What's Tripp's last name? Can I have his last name? You have a pen, or? Uh, his name is Tripp Johansson. Yeah. Can you take Olivia downstairs and get her a muffin or something? Are you hungry, honey? No. I don't think she's hungry. She's starving. I can see that. Come on. Here we go. Let's go get a muffin. Where are my notes for the 11 o'clock? Um, sorry, I think they're, I think they're in there. They're not in there. Um, I can't find them. Yet. Well, they're here somewhere, Rose. Please, I can't make it happen without my notes. Find my notes, okay, please. Okay, okay, okay. All of a sudden, I'm late for a meet that I was early for in the first place. The boy's a freak. Getting his dick sucked on the sideline at halftime. Cost me nine hundred dollars. Hey, hey, Kobe, motherfucker, freaking. <laughs> <little shit. laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Back there, back up, back up. I thought you didn't take drugs from the white people. Mm. You only white on the outside, baby. You got shit all up on your nose, man. You had the nerve to call me a sellout and a whore. You know what? Forget it. Forget I said anything, okay? It's none of my business. You're right. It's none of your business. No. But I'm making it your business. Mm. Oh, come on. No, hey. What's on your mind? What? Come on. Let you're, it out. You're happy the way you are, The white right? woman has something on you're her mind. Oh, look at you. You're engaged. Yeah. You got your house and your, your, your Vegas gigs. Your goat covered beamer. Yes. This fabulous lighter. You know, but I would just, I would just hate for you to be 50, ending every set with, okay, now here's Debbie Reynolds. Give it up. Sound like somebody jealous. Why I gotta do material that means something? Shit, you got Chris, that rock boy, and Ma, mm -hmm. and Dennis. Mm -hmm. All Let right. them handle it. But they, they can't do what you're too chicken shit to do. You know, which is to get up there, open your chest up, and say, look how deeply broken and fucked up I am. I am fucked up. Mm -hmm. Isn't it funny? Fucked up. Doesn't make you want to fucking cry. And now here's Tom Jones. Mm -hmm. Does this look red and itchy to you? I'm scared. So our own Lauren Weedman put together a very special look at why this city is still the greatest on Earth. New York City. You may feel you're at big risk visiting here these days. Well, you are. At risk of having a wonderfully good time. How about a thrill ride in what New Yorkers call the love tunnel? Do I smell fresh baked cookies? Getting hungry yet? Indulge in international gourmet cuisine from all over the world. Or just pick up one of the city's world-famous health bones and lick it. Mmm, minty fresh. And then, of course, there's the theater. Come watch two Australian men bend their penises into funny shapes and sizes. Actually, I'm not kidding about that one. Oh, 
<laughs> now that's entertainment. Finally, don't forget to enjoy the city's natural beauty. Take a tour of beautiful Washington Square Park on the back of star of stage and screen, Paul Rudd. No fatties. Faster, Paul Rudd, faster. And that's just a taste of what New York City has to offer. Now you have no reason not to come visit the greatest city in the world. Hey, you have that clean and back to me by Friday. <laughs> I love this city.